Welcome back to CI Living, where I'm on location in Gibson City at Gibson Area Hospital. I have the director of OB, Don Merkel, joining me now. Don, thanks for having us out here. Thank you. Thanks for coming. So this is a brand new space for Gibson Area Hospital. Talk a little bit about your new labor and delivery unit. Thank you. Um, we opened in um, November 25th. Um, we had been at a different area of the hospital and um, then moved here on the 25th. The first day that we were here, we had um, every room was full. Um, we had three deliveries that day, um, all kind of a race to see who was going to be the first baby of the year. We gave really nice gifts to the last baby in the old unit and the new baby in the new unit. Um, but we went ahead, since there was three babies one day, we gave gifts to, to everybody. <laughs> oh, nice. So you really yeah. christened yep. this new unit um, yeah. first day within the hour. Yeah, we did. Um, it, we thought we were going to deliver as soon as the door opened, but I we did so. soon after. So this is LDRP. Talk Correct. about what that means. What that means is um, the room that the mom will come in um, is the room that they labor, deliver, recover, and do their postpartum all in the same room. Um, they don't have to leave. Um, we can take care of all of the family's needs in the one room. Um, so mom labors and deliveries here. The couch easily folds down into a very comfortable bed for dad. Um, we have a glider for mom to rock her baby. Um, our infant care centers have everything we need to do to take care of the baby um, to stabilize after delivery. Um, and if in the event there is an emergency um, or we have a scheduled C-section, our OR for C-sections only is just 50 feet down the hallway. Big, spacious, state-of-the-art um, delivery room in there as well. Um, big, the rooms are private, obviously, and then the bathrooms are absolutely huge. Yeah. Um, great big shower um, with a seat in the shower. Um, it's nice for a mom right. who's just delivered a baby. You've got some great monitoring systems here that aren't right. just here, but also um, like out in the lobby area there by the nurse's station. Yeah, we are really excited about um, getting central monitoring. What that means is um, with our monitor here, we can um, monitor mom and baby, um, their response to labor, um, but it also is centralized and the doctors can rem remote in. So they can be monitoring their mom, um, seeing their strip from their office, from home, um, seat at the desk. If we're having a couple patients delivering or laboring at the same time, um, we can see multiple patients on the monitor and it's all HIPAA compliant, so we can see that. Yeah, um, and something else that's unique to this room, right after mom delivers baby, this is where they come and get all the vitals and check the baby out. Right. You wanna come show me yeah. about this? So um, here, um, we can do the, um, Wait, stabilize the baby, give any oxygen if needed, suction. Um, we can weigh the baby, um, but we don't just use it right after delivery. We can also use this um, during ongoing care of the baby. After we give the bath, we can um, um, bring baby's temperature back up um, here. We can do the CCHD screening um, prior to discharge, which is a test that we do um, to screen baby to see if the baby has a heart defect um, and needing further testing. We can do all that right here in the comforts of the room. The doctor can do the exam here or at the bedside. Um, it's, it's really exciting. We've done a lot of great things here. And um, one of the things that we're really proud of is um, just our efforts in reducing deliveries prior to 39 weeks. We are one of the few hospitals in the state of Illinois that was recognized for our efforts there. So we're really excited about that. Um, also, we've won a lot of um, awards for our patient care. Um, the unique thing about a small hospital is our nursing staff um, is the nurses that do teach you for your prenatal classes. Um, they take care of you during your labor, um, during delivery, and um, postpartum. So you may have the same staff through your entire stay. Um, so we really get to know our patients and have a bond with them. And um, often they bring their babies back to <laughs> say hello, yeah. to see their growth. So it's, it's exciting. It's, it's a really great place, a very homey atmosphere. Yeah, I remember making that connection with my nurse um, around my, my first baby, and then I definitely wanted her back for the second one. So you do make right. those connections. Very much so. Now babies stay in the room yep. with mom. So you've got the little bassinet here and all that, right. so they just stay here the whole time, unless there's a right. need to take them out. Yeah, we do rooming in. Um, we are very much um, working on the breastfeeding initiative as well. So we do skin to skin right after birth. We do breastfeeding in the OR if you have a C-section. Um, really um, nurturing that bond between the new family. Um, so babies stay with mom the entire time unless, you know, she's really exhausted and wants the baby to go to the nursery for a little bit. But typically they stay in the room with mom. Yeah, well you are about at capacity today. With yeah. babies we were lucky to get to <laughs> yeah. show off this room. So lots of advancements done here at Gibson yeah, Area Hospital. A great place to have your baby, great place to work. 
Yeah. Great place. Don, thanks so much for having us out here, showing off the new labor and delivery unit here at Gibson Area Hospital. If you need any more information, all you expect at Mamas out there, definitely head to CILiving.tv after today's show, and we'll get you connected.